Today we are going to take a look at writing tests for a simple sign-in form that has a single user name input, a button to submit the username. The project was built using Next.js, so we need to set up the testing environment just if you are using create react app you don't need to set up the testing environment since it already comes with it to start off we need to install just itself just dom react and user events each from the testing library since we are also using typescript in the project we need to add typescript types for just and add ts just to configure just for typescript after the packages are installed run yarn ts just config in it command to configure just to use typescript i'm using yarn with this command since yarn is able to run custom scripts for packages and i don't have to write out the command in the package.json a just config file is created after running ts just command open up the file and add this line of code to it here we are telling just that there is some code that needs to be run before any test is actually run itself we create a file with the same name setup test.ts inside the source folder and import testing library just dom this will add dom accessions to just then we create a test folder in the root of the project which would contain all our tests we start off by creating a file the name signin.test.tsx we then import render and screen from testing library react the user event from testing library user event and the signin component we then create an on submit mock function to test the submit event of the form for each test we will need to render the signin component therefore we are going to use the before each hook from jest in order to render the signing components for each test automatically without us having to rewrite the code again we also have to do a bit of cleanup after each single test and that's to reset the mock for the on submit function so using the after each hook from jest we reset the on submit function using the mock reset function added to the on submit jest function the first test case will be to ensure that every single component is rendered onto the page correct using the get by row and checking for a text box to be rendered onto the screen we test that the username input field is actually rendered onto the page next we use the get by rule to test for a button on the page for the submit button you might have noticed that for the get by rule we are passing in a second parameter with an object with a field name this is to help in finding the actual components related to that particular rule so the first one being the text box we are actually finding the input field that relates to the label username and taking a look at the html we can see that the label has a four attribute of username and the input is related to that through the name and the id and for the button is searching for a component with its text content being submit we then run the test using yarn test and check that our test is passing in the next test we want to simulate a user entering a value into the input form so using the type function from user event we grab the input field for the username for the first parameter and entering some values for the second parameter in the assertion we ensure that the input field has the value that has been entered into it get by label text is an alternative to get by rule since because the input field is linked to the label next we want to test the on submit function being called whenever the user and presses the enter key so it's in the type function from user event we grab the input field and enter in some values in order to simulate the enter key being pressed we use a unique syntax by bringing in two curly brackets and typing in the event itself so this will simulate the enter key being pressed inside the test so then we check the on submit is being called with what we typed and finally we check that the input field has no value in it because after the form has been submitted the form should be cleared in the next test we want to actually test the on submit being called whenever we click button with some inputted username so just as previously we type in some text for the username and then click on the button to submit the form then test that the on submit was actually being called with the inputted text and finally we also test that the form empty after the form has been submitted finally we want to test that the on submit is not being called when there is no username so in the input field we just hit the enter key and i said that the on submit is not being called then we also i said that the on submit is not being called whenever we click on the button without using it finally we run all the test again and it all passes that's it for this video like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and i'll catch you in the next one